Well, welcome back, everyone. We're back with Doodling with Mr. Nelson until somebody can come up with a better title. And today, we're going to do a little drawing, but we're going to start working on our comic book. So our end goal when this is all done is to have a comic book that we've made, a story that we're telling with pictures. So before we do anything like that, I want to show you what I did from last lesson, which was my chicken and my alien little green man from Mars. And then we're going to talk just a little bit about what kind of comics we can make. So let's go ahead and switch over to the camera. And there you can already see that I went ahead and I drew a chicken with an egg. And I drew a little green man from Mars who's drawing the chicken or painting the chicken. So how I did this was with the chicken, I knew chickens are round or, or have are a little round and they don't have big necks, unlike roosters that have big necks. So I was able to go ahead and start with just two circles. For the little green man from Mars, I started with a circle. And then I just did that for the body, legs, arms. That's my start. And then from there, I could add details like the bubble helmet and other things like that. But my basics are pretty much going to be those pieces. So let's go ahead and just talk just for a second about something called Let's try that again. Genre. Now, genre is what kind of story are you telling? Is it a memoir? Is it fantasy? Is it nonfiction? Is it science fiction? And on and on and on and on and on. So you've got all those, that's genre. And that's something you're going to have to decide. What kind of story do you want to tell? Are you gonna tell a story about something that happened in your life? Maybe you're gonna do a story about what's going on right now. Are you gonna tell a fantasy story? Maybe something about a princess or a dragon or something with magic, that's usually fantasy. Nonfiction, are you going to tell a story that's really not a story, but you're gonna tell us about something like cars or frogs or something that you really like. Science fiction, is it gonna be a story that happens in space? Is it going to be a story that has robots and spaceships? Then you've just got regular fiction which could be anything. It could be a story that you just want to tell and it's about whatever. Let's say it's about a boy who meets a dog. That would be, a, that could be a fiction story. Now, for those of us who have read some comics, memoir would be Smile by Raina Telgemeier. Fantasy would be The Courageous Princess. Make sure I don't run out of space. Nonfiction could be any of my science comics, like the one on cats or dogs. Science fiction, well, that's Hilo. Although Hilo kind of fits into both of these, because he's got magic and he's a robot. And then just regular fiction story, well, those are like the Babysitter's Club. So here's some examples of those. And I'll, I don't have, unfortunately, I'm at home and I don't have any of those. Most of those are at school. But I will see what I can pull up for next time to show you. That is genre. 
And you're saying, but Mr. Nelson, you said we were going to do a comic. Well, a comic is what's called media. And media, this is the story that we're going to tell. This is how we're going to tell it. Now, media could be anything. We're choosing comics right now. But we could do something like a movie, a novel, a picture book. All of those are different media. They're different ways for us to go ahead and tell the story. We're choosing comics, and we're going to have to look and see exactly what that means next week. But this week, I need you to start thinking about what kind of story do you want to tell, and maybe start writing it down. You don't need to draw anything. You just need to start writing. And what we'll do is, let me go back and switch over so you can see me. Hello, there we go. And next week, so what we'll do is, we'll, I will have a story ready that I want to tell, and then we'll go ahead and do that. Now, again, ideas. Well, if you were a third grader here, you know that it, Indian Creek does fractured fairy tales. Well, that's a genre. Maybe you just want to do a parody. Maybe you want to go ahead and tell a funny story about Iron Man or Spider-Man or something like that, or Superman or Batman. Or maybe you want to do what's called fan fiction, which is tell a story about characters that somebody else has created, but go ahead and change and make the story yours. So what would happen if this happened? So those are all ideas. But what we have to do right now is we have to draw, we have to figure out what we're going to draw. So let me go ahead and pull up my two dice and my book. And there we go. So let's go to the, let's go see what we're going to, let's see what it says. It says, we have to draw a mouse. Hmm. We got a 32. That's a mouse. Now, so you can draw a mouse any kind of ways. Think about, ooh, Mouse Guard by David Peterson. That's a really, really great fantasy story. And, oh, we have a mouse. And if you want to add an occupation to it to challenge yourself, that mouse has to be an actor. So it could be, and usually we can make it a bad actor since we're doing comics and, and cartoons, and those tend to be kind of funny. But you've got to think about what does an actor look like? What does an actor have? What makes an actor an actor? Maybe he's holding a script. Maybe he's got a microphone. Maybe he's got a, a skull in his head and he's saying, alas, poor Yorick, I knew him. Maybe he's something like that. But he has to be a mouse doing it. So let's go ahead and look at those. And next week, we'll go ahead and see what we've done. I'll see you later. Bye.